Hello everyone, on this video we are going to show you how we have calculated how much electricity and water does a dishwasher use and how we have reduced the electricity usage and the electricity cost. Additionally, we are also going to have a look to two other important factors, which are the effort and the time consumption. This is because there is some people who is concerned about the dishwasher electricity and water usage and the cost and they want to know if it would then be better to wash the dishes by hand. Before we start, a reminder that you need to enable the captions if you would like to have the subtitles in English or some other languages. Probably you have already noticed that I have a strong Spanish accent, but I hope that you are able to understand me even without the subtitles. Let's start by having a look to the electricity consumption. What we are showing on screen, it is a screenshot of a dishwasher specifications label that we have found on the internet. In short, we will be showing you what we have done to find this information. But, for the moment, we want to let you know that, for most of the recent dishwashers, the estimated yearly electricity consumption can be easily found, and from there, it is just a matter of a simple calculation to find out the yearly electricity cost. In case that you don't want to make the calculations by hand, we are going to leave a link on the video description to an online calculator that you can use to calculate the electricity cost without any effort. Coming back to the dishwasher specifications, now we are going to show you how you can find the yearly electricity consumption. What I am going to do now it is to use an internet browser to navigate to the Amazon website and in Amazon I am going to search for dishwashers. I'm using Amazon as an example as the information can be also found in other sites like eBay, MediaMark or so on. I am going to pick up any dishwasher and first I am going to have a look to the energy label. If you don't know what an energy label is, we are going to leave a useful link on the video description, but as you can see on the screen, the label displays the approximate energy and water consumption for this specific dishwasher model. Also, on the technical details section, it is possible to find some details like the yearly electricity consumption and the power consumption for this dishwasher. But now, what we are going to do it is to look for this exact model on the Bosch website and see what kind of information we can find there. I am using PerSearch as search engine, but you can get similar results by using other browsers like Google Chrome or Microsoft Bing. Once I find the right link, it takes me to the right site where I can search for the electricity and water consumption values. But the information we can find on the internet gives us only the approximate values. So what we have done it is to measure the electricity consumption of our dishwasher using a plug-in power meter. If you don't know what a plug-in power meter is or how to use it, we are going to leave a useful link on the video description. And these are the results of our measurements and as you can see the results differ depending on what program we are using. I must tell you that we were using the auto program most of the time, but since we know that it consumes more electricity, now we are using the eco cycle, which in the long run is going to save us quite a bit of money. As a small remark, all the electricity cost calculations on this video we have done using a cost of 0.217 euro per kilowatt hour, which is the cost that we pay to our electricity provider. In your case, most probably you are paying a different price per kilowatt hour. As you have seen, how we use the dishwasher has an influence on the electricity consumption and this has already been remarked by the manufacturer of this dishwasher. But also, you must be aware that there are some other less obvious factors that they also affect the electricity consumption, like the water harness. Without going into too much detail, be aware that if you have hard water at home, the dishwasher will have to work harder to clean the dishes and this will mean a higher electricity consumption. If you would like to know what hard water is, and the consequences of having hard water at home, we are going to leave a link on the video description to some related content. Before moving forward into the water consumption and the water cost of a dishwasher, note that we are going to leave a link on the video description to some content that does explain some important terms like watt, kilowatt and kilowatt hour, and how this knowledge can be used to find the electricity consumption of our appliances and devices at home. Also, very quickly, if you find this content useful and you would like to support us and reward the effort and time that we put into creating these videos, please give us a thumbs up. Also, you may consider to subscribe to our channel so you can receive notifications every time that we upload new content. 
Moving forward, the same specifications label is displaying that by using the ECO50 program, this dishwasher has a water consumption of 2660 liters per year. Having into account that in our case in Germany we are paying around 2 euro per every cubic meter of water that we consume, this means that for 2660 liters we will be paying around 5 euro per year on water cost. As before, we have measured the water consumption of our dishwasher and we are displaying the results on a screen as well as the water cost per cycle. The same as before, we are going to leave some links on the video description to some content that you can use to learn what a cubic meter of water is, how to read a water meter and use this knowledge to measure the water consumption. Also, we are going to leave a link to some online calculators that can be used to transform liters to other water measurement units. Now that we have more clear what the water and electricity consumption and cost of a dishwasher is, let's have a look to some other factors that should be taken in consideration to decide if it is more economic and efficient to use a dishwasher or washing the dishes by hand. We have already covered this topic in one of our posts, so we are going to use this already available content to have some visual help. As always, we are going to leave a link to the post on the video description. On the post, we review first the electricity and water consumption and the water cost. You may want to have a look for some extra details. But, in short, electricity-wise, it does cost the same to wash the dishes by hand or using the dishwasher. And water-wise, it is more economic to use the dishwasher. Regarding time consumption, well, it is rather clear that it's better for us to have the dishwasher cleaning the dishes. But of course, this is our personal situation, so you should assess if this is also your case. And when it comes to the supplies, like soap, the dishwasher supplies are a little bit more expensive than the hand washing supplies. As a conclusion, we are stating that it is more economic to clean the dishes by hand but not by a lot, and given that we save quite a bit of time by using the dishwasher, we conclude that all in all, it is better for us to use the dishwasher. Have a good look to the information we provide on the post, and then you can decide if for your particular case you can apply the same conclusion, or if it makes more sense for you to clean the dishes by hand. And this is the end, we hope that you found our content useful, and if so, please give us a like. Uh, you can also consider to subscribe to our channel to receive notifications every time that we upload new content. Thanks for watching.